What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Angel Ross here. Today I want to answer a question that a lot of people have been asking me for the past two weeks. I've been creating a lot of reels on my Instagram. Um, I've been using high quality image, high quality video to create these reels. And I just want to give you guys a little insight and in how I feel about reels and what I think you guys should be doing to optimize that tool and if you like this video please go ahead and share the video share it with a friend here are my five tips when it comes to creating reels but before we do that let's get into the intro all right so tip number one is going to be shooting high quality I'm always an advocate about investing in your craft. As a barber myself, I enjoy buying new things to try to help me produce the best content that I can possible. I'm always looking into what the newest cameras are that are coming out. But whatever your budget is, there's a lot of different options. Right now, I'm shooting on an A7 III to shoot this video, but I also have a ZV-E10, which is also a Sony camera. This camera runs about, uh, I wanna say, $699 for just a body. It is a great, great investment, has a flip screen so you can see what you're shooting. And then I'm shooting with a 55 millimeter Zeiss lens. This lens runs about $999. So you're looking at about $1,700 right here. But there are other options. This ZV comes with a, uh, a kit lens that could work for this type of shooting just for creating content and Instagram definitely that kit lens would be a good option for some beginner shooters But yeah, just invest in a camera invest in high quality equipment to make sure that you're producing the best high quality content possible All right, so for tip number two, you're gonna want to size your videos correctly You don't want to shoot the video and have the black box on top black box at the bottom You want that to fit the full screen so when people click it and it opens it up It's gonna show your full video So I'm gonna jump over to my computer and I'm gonna show you how to do that on Final Cut Pro Once you shoot it on the camera and when you're shooting on the camera before you edit, you want to turn your camera sideways, shoot those videos sideways, so then when you size them on here, it's going to take up that full screen, and I'm going to show you how it is that I crop these videos into the full screen. So let's get into the computer real quick. Alright, so this is Final Cut Pro. As you can see on the top, we're going to go to File, New, Project, then we're going to go over to Video, where it says 4K, we're going to go to Custom resolution this number right here is going to be 1080 by 1920 that's going to be your size um, for Instagram reels and then I'm going to scroll this down to 6, 30 frames per second and you'll see that it creates that perfect square that I'm looking for for Instagram reels and then once I have a clip that I like I'll move it over to my timeline and as you can see I shot it sideways so it's gonna show sideways on the, on the screen and that's what you don't want you don't want to have that black square on top black square at the bottom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to rotation and we're gonna type in 90 degree rotation right so now you're gonna see that the 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 clip rotated but there's still black around it I'm gonna go back into scale all and I'm gonna type in 180 and that's going to boost that up to 180%, fitting it perfectly into your real screen. So when people tap your screen, they, they open up that video, it's going to fit right in. All right, so tip number three is going to be the shorter the video, the better. So now that Instagram is allowing people to create 60 second reels, people think that that's the best option. But in reality, keeping people's attention for that long is really difficult unless you have like an instructional video or something that you're doing within 60 seconds that gives you enough content to create and sometimes those don't get as many views from what I've seen as the 15 second clips that I'm creating so the shorter the better 15 seconds is easy to watch while you're scrolling somebody might even just scroll down and watch it for six seven seconds and it's gonna give you more views than a 60 second video that people might watch for 10 seconds so keep those videos nice and short nice and simple and uh, and watch them grow faster Alright, so tip number four is going to be use the trending music. There's a lot of music on Instagram and you'll see a lot of videos that use a lot of the same music. And the reason is because some of those songs might have went viral 
And when you use those songs, the algorithm on Instagram is going to share your stuff a lot faster. So on Instagram, there's an option where you can just click and save music. So if I'm watching a reel or I'm watching something that I like and I like the music behind it, I'll go through and save it. Even if I'm not creating that reel right away, I'll save it and I have it in my saved list for the next time that I'm creating a reel, I'll be able to use it. So you're going to want to open up Instagram. You're going to want to click that reels button. So this video has a good song that I would like. So I'm going to tap down at the bottom the actual song, just click it. And you see at the top it says save audio. So you're going to want to hit that save audio button. Saved. Now you got that video audio. So when you go to create a reel and you go to audio, up at the top it says saved. And these are all your songs that you've saved from the past and you can go in and use one of those viral songs to add on top of your video and that'll help your algorithm help your video get out there a lot more all right so last but not least this is probably one of the most important parts of this is just staying consistent keep creating content don't stop just because your numbers are low because eventually people will catch on uh, the algorithm will catch on and your videos will start to blow up before you know it so don't just post two or three videos in two days and think that um, they're going to get these crazy amount of views. Make sure you're staying consistent. Most people don't see results until the first 60 days. So make sure you stay on top of it. Keep creating content. Stay motivated. And if you like this video, please go ahead and share the video. Share it with a friend. Hit that thumbs up button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.